Where the heck are we? JK, we're just in my bathroom today. Anyway, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooke, and today I'm gonna to be doing a little bit of a review slash this needs to be done because uh. anyway. So as you can tell, I got my ends ombre a while back, and I was supposed to be using purple shampoo or stuff that made my hair stay blonde and not like get coppery or bronzy undertones but as you can tell I'm lazy and I didn't do that so what ended up happening was I was using color correcting shampoo or like making sure it stayed the same color but like I wasn't helping with the bronze so today I actually went out and I bought some shampoo and some conditioner that is purple the shiny silver ultra it is also for people who have white or silver hair and they want it to be silver or white and not like yellowy so this will help get rid of the orange yellow tones um as far as smell wise let me just smell it and it smells like like it smells like shampoo you know like normal shampoo would smell and like if i could get this out for you guys I don't want it to spill, but it's purple. Like, it's, I mean, as purple shampoo should be, it is purple. As you can see on my finger, it is purple. So I will be putting that all over my hair, and I'm probably going to leave it in for, like, 10 minutes while I'm in the shower. So I will get back to you as soon as I'm done. Wait first, I'll read directions so that I'm sure that this is what I'm going to do. Enhances blonde and revitalized bleach, frosted, and blonde tinted hair. Eliminates yellow and brassiness. Formulated with lavender. Ooh, that's what I smelled. Lemon, orange peel, grapefruit, and tangerine. To smooth, condition, and enrich air. You're supposed to apply to your hair that's wet, gently massage, and rinse. And repeat if desired. And that was the shampoo. Mm-hmm. Now for the pretty conditioner. Like, do you see that? Like, that is gorgeous. Mm. It's really pretty when you like squeeze it and it's like, I don't know if you guys can see it moving, but ugh, it's so pretty. <laughs> anyway, um, this says leave in for one to three minutes, rinse in style. Okay, so I'm gonna use this in the shower, basically. So I will see you guys in about 10 minutes. Just kidding, I'll see you guys in like three seconds because you guys don't have to wait for me to shower. Hey guys. Um, it's actually been like three or four showers since I did the original clip, video clip for this. So I wanted to do that because my hair wasn't exactly like to the point where it had any progress. So I wanted to wait a few days before I showed you guys my update video. So here it goes. Mmm, natural hair. So, I don't know if you guys can tell, but yesterday when I went out, my hair was actually like very, like it was more blonde than it was amber as it was before. And so basically what it means is that the shampoo is working and it's nice, but I think my hair is past the point of just needing shampoo to work. I think it's going to need that extra step and I think it's going to need... Well, I also want to go a little bit lighter, so I'm thinking about getting, going somewhere and getting my hair bleached again, and then going a lighter shade. So, it's working for keeping it blonde. Like, it's, I don't know if you guys can tell, but like, the ends are more, they're not as coppery as they were before, which is what I was going for. So, I will show you guys again once this all is dried out, because I don't I try not to straighten my hair and I try not to blow dry it just because I don't like damaging my hair and bleaching the ends does enough damage on its own so ow I try to make sure that it just has enough time to like heal in between bleaching so I only straighten it when I need to and I only curl it when I need to and I really try not to blow dry it I just kind of let it air dry so I will see you guys once this is all dried out so hey guys, hey gay, hey guys, 
um, no time passed for you, but time passed for me, and here I am today, well, same day, but here I am later on, and you may be wondering why I look like this, like, why I have, like, pinky lips and, like, my eyes, well, I was in the middle of filming another video, which I mentioned in that video, so maybe you jumped from that video to this video, so, cool if you did, and if you didn't, you can check out the video right up here, um, it was a video about my 4th of July look, which, I probably posted this much later than the 4th of July, oopsies. So I get my um, Patriot look. Anyway, as you can see, the purple shampoo has taken a lot of the copper out, like as I said. And it does look a lot more blonde than it did before. And I want to note right now, I was not sponsored to make this video, I was not paid, they didn't give me the products. I picked this product up from the store and I wanted to give my honest opinion of it. It's a little hard to wash out of your hair, like, in all honesty, and that's, like, my biggest complaint is that, like, I spend a lot of time in the shower just rinsing and rinsing and rinsing, and that's something I would not, like, do, but I think that's with all shampoos because I have very thick, like, thick hair, like, I have a lot of hair. That was my thin side, but this is, like, this is thick, like, it's a thick ponytail, so, like, when I wash it, it takes a while to, like get all the soap and everything out of it, and that just is, like, a big, big pain. Anyway, um, I'm gonna keep using this, and I'll probably post an update video after I go get my hair done again, because it'll be a different color, different, different shade, and it'll just be overall different, and then we'll see how the purple shampoo, good, how the purple shampoo does it, keeping it the same color. Anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button down below. If you'd like to see more content like this, please hit that subscribe button down below. And I have more videos in my channel that you can go watch for now while you wait for me to upload a new video because I kind of slow about that. Um, if you'd like to talk more about why you dyed your hair blonde, why you wanted to dye it silver, and maybe suggestions as to what color I should go for because I might... I really like how the gray ends look, like the ombre from like dark to gray. I think that looks really cool. And I want to try it out, but I don't know if I should. So, it's all up in the air right now, what I want to do. So if you guys have any, like, comments about what I should do, that would be really helpful if you guys could tell me. And I guess that's it. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.